Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another one of my videos. Now, if only Heroes Hour would work. There we go. It is working. So, in today's video, just like the title says, uh, I would very much like to just make a, you know, kind of like a tutorial about how to play this game because I've heard that some people are having issues with playing it. So, without further ado, this is version 2.0.5. This is just a basic tutorial. I will not go into the lexicon, the options, credits, anything else. I'll just hit a new game. I'll just get uh, uh, Dance of Death. Is that fine? No, that's that's a bit too big of a map. Let's get a smaller one. Uh, let's get Dual, I guess. So we'll be starting off on normal difficulty, single player, and we'll just be picking order, which is kind of like the standard knights, guys. Um, we will not be going into the advanced options because this is not about that. And uh, yeah, and there are... Two types of heroes there are might heroes and uh, magic heroes so this means that the might heroes are better at having might stats like for example this guy has rallying he's got leadership he's got wording which um, gives you more gives your units more um, chances to ignore the text he's got fortune archery uh, what else um, legion which is also like most of these combat these are all kind of like um might driven and the way that your heroes uh, level up is that every time you gain a level you can pick another one going down from these two main um skills you can pick another one right beneath it and you obviously need the right the one right above in order to get it to get the one below anyway so these are the might heroes these are the magic heroes for example this this guy she's got blessing and she and then she or she yeah she cassie she's got healing as well which means units are being killed resurrected after combat and uh you know she can get uh, some other stuff so let's just pick her for now for example then you can select your color if you wish uh i guess we'll play blue knights are usually blue i would i would imagine let's hit done so there we go we have selected our team and the other guy is going to be random so let's just start him on on uh, normal game the maps are always random generated so even though even if you pick the same map over and over again it's going to be a new map and a new experience so then let's go into our castle this is our castle you either click double click on it like that uh, or you double click on it uh, or yeah double click on the bottom this is the castle view with all the possible buildings that you can build but i strongly do not recommend anybody actually to anybody not just the uh people who don't know the game i strongly do not recommend using it it is a nice thing to have and i very much appreciate the developers adding it or the developer rather but it's not for everybody so just go down down here to the this x and o which is the planner uh view and here you can have a much better view of how the game looks and how the game should be played so you start off with usually on normal difficulty if you don't mess around with the options you start off with um, this uh, plaza of order or of whatever the castle is and it, right beneath it always there are all the buildings that lead to more gold income per day because this game is played on a turn by turn basis so each day passes when you hit, hit the end turn button over here to the right so uh, the, uh, these buildings will just give you more towns. These, these are like your taxing buildings. And then there's the, um, there's two level one units, so to say. There's the archers, the marksmen, and then there's the um, uh, halberdiers. Actually, the pikemen, and they can be upgraded to halberdiers. And then there's the tavern. The tavern is great because you can get another hero. So playing on normal difficulty, this is my main recommendation, honestly. Just get the tavern first. And even for harder difficulty, get the tavern first. So let's double click that we can upgrade it later on to uh, with a champion statue which is by the way very good and i will be explaining probably in the future why uh, so we got a new one let's go here to this button which is next to the planning which is to select and uh, get the units we will be maxing out on the pikemen militia rather and uh, let's buy another hero so lanzo uh, is a might hero and he's the, the other one that we can get we'll just recruit him so right off the bat, you can see that. Oh, and by the way, with each time you recruit a hero in uh, during the same week, because the weeks end after seven days, obviously, uh, the hero's price goes up by 1000. So bear that in mind. You don't want to be buying too many heroes too fast. So what we'll do now is we'll get Lonzo, which is here. 
and we'll right click double on uh, Cassie and the priest and we'll be sending all his troops by right by left clicking to Cassie because we want as big of a blob as possible and now Lanzo is free to go around and do whatever he likes around the map so um, yeah let's uh, go ahead and just oh, I don't know just move him around by the way, when you hover over enemies on the map, you can see that uh, it says impossible, impossible, impossible. That's because this guy has no troops. But if you go to Cassie and you hover on somebody, look now, it says moderate for that guy. Challenging, impossible, hard, and so on and so forth. So what we'll be doing, because uh, you always want to get the obelisk, and I will show you exactly why in a second. But we can't get the obelisk just yet because we don't have enough troops. So we'll just go ahead and get as many resources as possible now this is a great thing you might think that 1000 gold is a lot of gold but the gin will actually help you a lot in the beginning of the game so we'll just take the gin with that one and uh nothing to see here if you're not certain that you should be going in one direction don't waste your movement on your hero uh, and do that this is the trading post uh, this is great that it's not guarded, so we can always trade resources at a discount and we can also postpone the building of the marketplace within our ca our city right here, so we'll, we won't be doing that. Right, uh, let's keep going down and see if there's anything that we can get. This is nice to have always, this uh, palace, because these palaces are usually going to give you more units per week and also uh, some gold income. Okay, so everything over here seems to be uh guarded somehow so let's just end our turn now the number one rule to play these games uh th like the heroes of might and magic and similar games to this one is to always and always build every day if you can in your town at least in your main town so now i've built the uh the armory so that i can get myself some what are the marksmen so I'll just we'll just create them all Move them down because we can have them uh, externally and just put them in our main army. Great. So now Cassie, as you can see, this fight just all of a sudden became easy. And this fight as well. So we'll just be doing these fights. So you don't want to take hard fights. Uh, let's just stay behind and let our ranged guys... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Stay behind oh yeah by the way that's another thing let's yeah let's put down half speed let's cure everybody because we can this will help us minimize our losses so we we'll just say that so you can actually control units if you click on top of a unit then you can actually control that unit and the ones right next to him so i can tell for example these guys i can tell them to attack here right so that's why i pulled my gin in because otherwise uh, he could have died uh for nothing uh, now this fight is easy so we've only lost like two militia which is almost nothing and we we did use cure once it restores 40 health and i guess that's fine uh, like these guys have less than 40 for example the marksmen have exactly 40 there we go we got some experience we can now level up uh, as i said blessing i don't know that i'll be upgrading blessing i might want to get wisdom because we will be getting uh, new spells with it but i might want to get mastery as well because this guy he recruits 2.86 uh monks into his army per week and monks are a high level unit high tier unit so we want those so we'll just be getting mastery one now obviously this is not a best strategy uh tutorial right this isn't about what's the best strategy this is about how to basically play the game i will be going into best strategy and even you know killing um the uh, the hardest uh, opponents on uh, the hardest difficulty but i will be doing that in another video there we go so we've, we're sustaining losses so let's go ahead and uh, heal our guys because we don't want to lose too many and yeah we've lost five maybe six there we go six militia but that's that's not bad and our our healing spell not spell skill actually gave us back one of those by the way how is the volume of the game i think the volume is a bit too yeah yeah i think this is better now good so now we can take the obelisk which is uh, very important 
and we can also continue to explore with this guy i don't think i should be going down oh actually i need this and this and i can actually start moving him back so let's end our turn man it took 10 minutes to play two turns so i can see why some people are having issues with this game right so this is our obelisk and you can dig for riches and you can look at clues right so there are two so on our starting map there are two obelisks and three of these uh crystals i guess look there's one here so when you get like all five of these clues you will almost likely know where this is but it's already quite interesting because we see the palace in in the clues and we see this uh blue thing so i'm guessing it must be here somewhere around here if they are both then it must be somewhere around here uh, uh luckily for us oh crap okay so th this was a bit of an unlucky draw because we need a second obelisk and then this diamond is uh used so we now have two x's but we have no idea where where it could be i'll just move this guy in here and look the dig for riches um button lit up by itself so when i dig I finally found the treasure which is nice because this gives me uh, a bunch of resources and gold and uh, also artifacts so that was definitely worth my time now next off let's build we don't want to forget that uh, my recommendation of course is to keep getting uh, units at this point because we have enough gold I don't know which ones are which ones of these are better so I'll just pick the usual knights Let's just create them because they will be good to tank some of the uh, damage that ranged units usually do to us. And let's do this easy fight as well. Uh, we want to split these up. So just wait, how do you? Ah, there we go. You right click because I don't want my gen to fly head first in and get uh, absolutely killed screwed right there we go let's secure because we should have this once we've closed in the um the distance we should have this and there we go and next off you might want to plan ahead to see which one of these future skills you want to get so next off i guess uh I don't, i'm not planning right now uh, i'll just get wisdom because i want to get as many as possible new uh spells uh the ancient sphinx is nice you should probably be getting that and also what's nice is the gold mine but this is an impossible enemy so again we will not be going for it so let's go go down because i want those artifacts that my uh second hero got we need them to meet up there we go I have now plenty of uh, plenty of resources. The next thing that I can do, honestly, today, and this is something that I will be um, recommending in my other video, which is for hardcore uh, difficulty, uh, the champion statue. So this gives you access to two heroes. As you can see right now, I've only got one hero in here, right? But if I build my champion statue, I'll get access to two heroes, possibly uh also the heroes recruited in this town will will have or will get a boost to their bodyguard skill and then uh, it will also give us 100 gold daily so just the gold itself is going to be you know good enough uh, let's say because in, a, in about two weeks you'll get it back but the best thing and this is a big but the best thing is the bodyguards uh let me recruit her and i will show you exactly what i mean So then, so you see, as you can see, if I hover over her, she's got those units over there on top to the right, uh, which are from the bodyguard skill. So those units don't actually exist, but the game gives you those units uh, just because your main army is very powerful. And as you can see, to, right to the at the end, to the right, there's a griffin, a big bird boy. And that big bird boy, well, he's, uh, he's quite powerful. So what I'll do now is I'll get the artifacts. Uh, I can leave this, yeah, I, I can leave the daily gold income on Lanzo. So give this to Cassie, everything. Bam. Is this even good? Yeah. That's fine. And now if I 
look over her. She's she's going to be getting two big boards. So this army, yes, this army is impossible right now. Right? So for example, this army is easy. Um, this that's challenging. That's moderate. That's easy. I don't know what that does. I guess we could be doing this. But no, I want the gold mine. So what I'll do now is I'll take my uh, my. Oh, by the way. Here's the bodyguard skill. She's only got one point in it, but trust me, it's you know it's fine. So this just gives you you can read pause the pause the video and read the text. It just gives you a phantom units basically that you can use. Oh, I can't get that. Mm, yeah, I'll just get this or try to get it. And in the meantime, I will be killing this guy. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a pretty amazing skill to be honest. <clears throat> Because yeah, you get the possibility. What do we have here? We've got salt shower. I guess I'll do that. And I will be healing right off the bat because my gin was already taking damage and I don't want to ha that to happen. There we go. We've only lost a couple of militia, which that is just, that's fine. We just, we get one back. Um, so yeah. Um, these skills uh, require level 5, so we'll be getting access to them next level. I guess Blessing, blessing is fine to get another. Actually, let's, just, let's get Terramency. This gives us better uh, Earth spells. And oh, I could actually get Mastery level 2, which would be great. But I need to spend two days in here. Uh, let me see if I can get something else done in the meantime. Yeah, yeah let's get this guy. I should be able to, to get these guys as well. Hopefully. Um, let's... yeah. And let's cure. And our army is pretty pretty damn strong. There we go. You need to be to pay attention to your mana because that kind of goes down fast. So I'll be getting that later. I, I just want to get this. Uh, we'll be wasting two days on, on her. So yeah, let's just get that. She's tired now. Okay. We got another monk today, which is great. Let's see if we can build something else. Another thing that you should be building is the infirmary. Um, always because the infirmary gives you some of your losses back of your lost troops back in your town which is you know that's good you can't argue with that that's good value uh we can get the fort later on let me just get that by the way every time your uh your your towns also level up right so when that happens you need to be careful what to choose so in this case i can choose between two knowledge two defense or uh you know uh, you get some some resources weekly resources are definitely not interesting uh if you play the game right you will have enough defense i'd be taking if my uh, armies were might oriented but they're not uh so i'm just going to be taking the knowledge because that will help us um the here the town's level is down here at the bottom so for the next level i'll need six buildings for example right good uh yeah so this this guy, she's got near impossible. Uh, let's see what we can do. Again, these troops, we can easily let them die. We don't care about them. Like, honestly, not at all. So let's just start the battle. We can haste ourselves. Oh, we can only haste one big boy. So even if they die, and they will die, because this is a much larger army, the enemy units that we kill are going to stay dead, right? So we killed two of these mermaids, or sirens, and 11 centaurs. So that, that's pretty nice, because we we basically halved the, the opposing army. And, uh, and she doesn't actually get, you know, she gets killed, but she doesn't actually die. Uh, what do we want on her? Oh, she gets griffins. That's nice. I guess I can get that. Question mark. No, actually, I want regeneration because I want more mana. I want to have full mana on her. So, 
actually all of these three are good so i'll uh, get just get regeneration for now uh this guy he doesn't have bodyguards so he's basically useless at this stage of the game um but we'll just be using him to pick up the resources that we haven't yet because you know those are good as well to be picked up yeah and basically that's kind of how you uh, play at least the early game uh cassie's done she's now got level two mastery which is great because her monks are going to be even more powerful and now look this battle isn't impossible any longer it's just challenging right it used to be impossible mm -hmm. uh how much mana does she have so i could be getting some extra creatures from here which i probably will do there we go 16 leeches uh yeah we can afford all of these that's fine and I'm not going to be getting that. I will be getting this chest, though. So, sadly, it wasn't uh, experience. And I'll be looking to solve a riddle next time uh, over there. So, we can just pick up the resources and then we will be building. What should I build? Um, basically... I think I'll get the fort right now because I've got enough money income. So I'll just be getting the fort. Every time you build the fort or an upgrade to the fort, you get the chance to select a, a, um, a plus weekly growth for a creature. I always go for the ranged creatures because I find them to be, I don't know, I just like playing with ranged creatures, I guess. Um, I, um, I usually just, I don't know. Um, I, I waste all my melee creatures just defending the, the other ones and that's it. This guy, he gets potency. No, we don't care about that. So let's go ahead and uh, just keep uh, exploring. She can probably have another go at killing these mermaids over here. Which I probably will do. You can just keep doing this. This is just... Basically, it's free real estate. And this is version 2.05. And I guess uh, in the future, the developer is going to be um, uh, probably nerfing bodyguards. I would I would nerf it. If I were the, the developer, I would nerf bodyguards because it's, it's insane. It's not like the... It's maybe even make it so that the bodyguards that you lose during the fight are actually lost for the whole week. Maybe that would be a good idea. I don't know just throwing out some some ideas over here because it's just ridiculous oh and there we go we get plan yeah we get logistics as well three levers and a gold mine so yeah nice and let's see if we can answer the riddle the more of this there is the less you see what is it uh I guess dark. This is going to be live on video. Yeah, it was dark. And look at look at that. We got a lot of resources. If I would have failed, I'd have I'd have had to um well basically uh fight um fight an army. A, a big army. Now there's a roaming hero that you can see all around the map when you first start off. Don't be I never touched on this because you know I never interacted with him. Don't try to be a hero and attack them. You probably need at least at least the game that I had right now, right? With all of these units uh, by the end of week one to attack them. So if you want to, you can attack them, but make sure it's as easy. And if you're playing on harder difficulties, then make sure that um, um, that you have a, a, you know, a decent army before going in. Because otherwise you'll just you'll lose your army and you'll be uh, quite sad. So let's uh, move a bit back, let them come in. And let's put a salt shower here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this hero, he's got uh, he's got a, an interesting spell. Let's cure. I mean, I don't know that Let's cure again. With every chance that you get, you want to cure because the more units you hoard, so the less units you lose in every battle, the higher your success rate of you know and your chances of winning the game get. Because the more you snowball out of control with units, the easier it becomes. So always heal 
that's your main priority heal and uh, resurrect and do all of that uh, I guess I'll get regeneration because both mysticism and potency are good so I'll just be going for regeneration uh, with her uh, we did get a nice pointy hat which is good um, and that's a hard battle, but I might be able to do it next week because I'll be having new troops. So then, um, I guess I'll be getting the stronghold and upgrading some of my troops so that I get more of them. Like the swordsman, that's fine. I don't really care that much. I'd have taken the ch the chapel and the monks, but I, you know, I needed to build the um, guild of mages, the infirmary, and then that. I guess this is this is fine. We'll be getting a lot of gold anyway next week, next uh, uh, on the next day. Good. Um, what else do we want to build here? This is good to have, so I'll be getting this now. Let's try and uh, get all of our units, and we did. So actually, I won't be fighting this guy, I'll just be going back for that permanent bonus to movement and for the troops. And now I've got a huge army. So look, all of these fights, they, they, are, they are easy now, right? Um, do I need these? No, I don't need those. <clears throat> actually, I'm doing so well that I'm actually considering just uh, going to the enemy. Did I equip that last item? Yes, I did. So I've got lots of spell power and lots of... Um, yeah, uh, let's just get this one as well. Skipping to outcome for a very easy fight is possibly not the best idea. Maybe it's a good idea, but possibly not the best one, right? So you might want to consider doing it, or rather do it at your own peril. There we go, let's cure. As you can see, we keep losing those. Next off, let's see what we get. I think Rikasi trends. Yeah, the Vengeful Spirits are good enough. And then the skills beneath it are good as well. Aromancy could also be good. But let, let's get this one because we, we, we keep losing troops. And uh, oh, this is a challenging fight. But at least this one is easy and we'll be getting extra gold and... Um, troops from it so yeah why not she's the yeah she's got the uh the thing you know man the thing uh we don't care about that we don't really care about that what we do care about is this hard fight hmm. let's keep doing something along the way we can just keep the outcome with in, in her case because we don't care. Oh, that's a that's a good find. And this guy, he can just keep getting resources. I'll skip those because the movement is is not worth the you know the outcome. So I might be able to just obliterate these guys. Uh, my my enemy, I mean, on uh, the second week. I'm not yet sure. Let's see if we can uh, break through this barrier. We might not be able to. Because there's a wall as well, so that's not easy. Um, yeah. Let's haste these guys. Uh, what the hell? We almost did it. So my main army is definitely going to do it. Because we've just... Yeah. Hmm... I think I'll get champion because uh, I usually get those uh, those those guys, so I'll probably be using it. 
So let me get champion. Uh, let's move down here. And I might be able to just finish off the game quite quickly. <clears throat> let me think about what I need next. The architect is nice because you get uh, you get four. You know, I'd be getting another level on my city, but I do need my monks, so I'll be getting the mages guild. And oh, by the way, and we can also just to be sure, we can also get another hero which will have uh, guardians uh, bodyguard as well. So level one, not that good, but you know that's that's fine as well. Let's add the army that he's got to our main. And let's see, so he's going to have a shitload of archers, so I might as well just try and, uh, and uh, break through here. He's got a, lots of, a lot of archers and... Oh, and a lot of... Um, a lot of spells, actually. Yeah, there we go, this guy is actually quite good. So we actually broke through. Let's get archery because he's specialized in archers apparently. And uh, let's move through. So we might just be rushing down our enemy here. I don't know where he is. But... Uh... But yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's not his main. Where is his main? But it doesn't matter, I'll just be rushing down his city, which wasn't even defended. Uh, that's interesting to say the least. I'll build a fort, not that I need it. There's other more interesting things to be to be had. But I'll build a fort because just in case he's got a big army, I will be able to defend uh, easier with the fort. And uh, yeah, all the troops are, be, are have been bought. Uh, he, ooh, he, we did get some um, some spells, some nice spells. Let's get the infirmary as well, because we want to be building towards those mar towards those monks. These are, yeah. Let's get his gold and his mines. That that's his main army. Oh, and he's got a blighted army. So yeah, uh, this. This, yeah, I won't go into detail about what that means. It's not really relevant, to, to be honest. Um, the main point is that... Uh, oh, actually, I can fight him. And it's an easy uh, fight. So I'll just go and fight him. Because that's his main, most likely. So every unit that this guy has in his possession, he turns into these blighted uh, things, which are, I guess, I don't know, some sort of creatures. <laughs> That, that's a good explanation, right? Some sort of creatures. <clears throat> we'll just wait in the back because he doesn't have too many... Um, too many... Uh, archers. And yeah, we can apply a slow, I guess. Why not? Since it's free. It's just free real estate. And we can put a, an, an energy blast in here. And let's cure once. But we are just basically steamrolling him, and this is his main hero. He look, he's even one level above mine. Um, not anymore, but he used to be. Uh, if you can take armor, it's very good. So I would, Im I would, um, I would say you should take it. But this is not a uh, this is a caster, so I'll be getting mysticism for better spells. And this is another army, but these two are just pathetic. We don't, we don't care. They can't. They probably can't make it to their town, so we'll just be eliminating them. And that will be a very fast game. There we go. That's one. And that's the third and last. Let's just duplicate these guys just to add insult to injury. Bam. And there we go. We have won. Uh, before week three, which was an achievement, by the way. <laughs> I didn't even get to do it. There's another achievement for, I think, under 20 minutes, which, you know, I might have been able to do it. Maybe on easy I can actually do it. Uh, but yeah, that was it. So... Um, 
yeah, let's just continue playing and uh, let me look at the map a bit to see if I can give you guys any other good suggestions. Now, in this in this case, map's case, there was no uh, neutral ground in between. If there is neutral ground in between, then it's basically for the better. Uh, and also, if you find yourself uh, being attacked by a hero or an enemy with superior numbers, your best bet is to just huddle up in your town. You just bring your hero back to your town um, and make sure you have at least your fort built. Preferably stronghold also or citadel, you know, but, you know, those are quite expensive and quite down. You probably need to go towards the end of week three in order to get that, to get the citadel. But anyway, if you if you find yourself being attacked, just huddle up in your own town and wait for them to attack because they will attack you. If they don't attack you and they just go around flagging your mines, just have another secondary hero flag the mines back and just play, you know, whack-a-mole with him. Eventually he will attack you. And if you play it smart um, and if you've got a decent spellcaster or, or a decent hero, you most of the time, will most likely, most of the time, you will be able to defend with far less or far smaller losses than usually but yeah anyway uh that was it and this is heroes hour thank you to everybody for watching and listening hopefully some aspects of the game have been made more clear and more easy to understand to people who are trying to get into this game if not uh, let me know uh, what your questions are in the comments below um and what your issues were well, while playing this game also in the comments below you can let me know and i will maybe make a follow-up video about you know all of those issues if not stay tuned because i might i'm planning on doing a video about winning on hardcore plus with hamlet start which is kind of like almost the hard i mean you can do harder things than that but you know i'll be doing a video on that so stay tuned take care bye bye